welcome back to Celeb Under. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Zoe Lavern receiving more backlash after giving birth. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Zoe started her social media career in 2016. At first, she wasn't sure what to publish. Later, however, she began to come up with ideas. She started with her passion for singing. She began post-lip-syncing performances on her favorite songs on TikTok. Her posts grab a lot of eyeballs. Still, Zoe's fame for TikTok helped the channel gain over 69,000 subscribers. She has a second YouTube channel, Cody and Zero, which she manages with her boyfriend. The channel primarily consists of videos related to their personal life. Zoe and her boyfriend made several Q&A videos, in one of which they collaborated with famous TikTok star Daniel Kahn and her boyfriend. Zoe's also active on Instagram, where her diverse looks captivate over 30,000 followers. It owns a line of merchandise and its products are available on shopping sites such as bonfire.com and teespring.com. Even if she had made a big impact on the internet, she was a part of many controversies which only grew more and more in recent months when she gave birth. Her reputation turned upside down in early November 2020 after a leaked video appeared to show her kissing a 13-year-old fan. In an apology, Laverne said she caught feelings for the young fan, who goes by Connor Joyce online. Laverne blamed the interaction on the pair becoming best friends and denied that she had been grooming Connor, a term used when an older person builds a close relationship to manipulate and exploit a young person. Before reaching her current tipping point of controversy, Lavern weathered other scandals, including a one-sided feud with the most followed TikToker Charlie D'Amelo, and endless drama with her ex-boyfriend Cody or Love. Like many influencers, Lavern's career has been popped up on the drama that supports her relevancy, starting years ago when she was rising star on the tween-dominated app Musical.ly. Around December 2017, Laverne made a monumental shift in her social media brand. She started dating fellow Musical.ly star Cody or Love. The relationship between Laverne and or Love would last well into 2020, but the road was rocky, including a breakup caused by Laverne's cheating. And that person is not the father of the child, because they both accused each other of cheating and sexual abuse. Lavern became a trending topic again on February 23rd of 2021, when she announced she was pregnant. She and Dawson Day, her 20-year-old boyfriend, said that they were expecting a child together. Lavern posted multiple pictures and videos of positive pregnancy tests, including TikTok respondings to a critic who said she was faking her pregnancy. Both expectant parents addressed Lavern's previous relationship with Joyce to say the 13 year old isn't the father. Well, we're expecting. They wrote on Instagram. And for the idiots talking crap, I'm the father. Zoe and Connor didn't do anything to have a baby. That's impossible. And if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's disgusting and real low flow to talk crap about an unborn child. It's sickening. Lavern announced on Instagram that she had given birth on October 3rd. According to a screenshot tweeted by internet reporter Def Noodles, it appears Lavern posted a scene deleted Instagram post announcing her baby Emerson had been born on the 3rd of October. The caption purportedly read, Link in bio for more exclusive pics. She wanted to earn money for the poor child. What a mother! Not surprising that the controversies grew against her, but she did apologize for this. Lavern said the money raised will go toward caring for her daughter, who was in a neonatal intensive care unit, NICU, and to families in similar positions. All the money I did receive off the exclusive pictures of Emmeline 
I am going to use to save for her needs. Her diapers, her wipes, and obviously her hospital bills. She was lifeline to Children's Hospital to be put into the NICU when she was born. But don't worry, she's okay. She was just having some complications when she was born. I had an emergency C-section and I was also having complications. It does look really messed up, but I'll explain better, she said from her bed. So first of all, this is my first time being a mom and during my pregnancy, I had a bunch of death threats and people saying that they were going to kill her and people saying that they hoped she would die and all this stuff. And that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and much, much more. We'll see you guys in the next time and until then, take care. Bye everyone!